Tommy Machete? Ha! You shit! Didn't think I'd ever let him out. He kept his head down. Helps people forget. People will remember soon enough. When they see him walking down the streets of their neighborhoods, it will be bad for business. Well, what are we gonna do, sonny? You treat him like an old friend and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Time to change it. The families can't keep their backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. How's he gonna hold us in his leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give him a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Okay, so they're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business and the other one does the flying. Okay, that's them and the chopper. All right, here's the deal. They want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight, let's go. Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s, used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> oh, shit! I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shoveled shit in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know. You're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Things like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective. Hey, doing time with the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee were dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Tell me you still got the money! No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! 
You better not be schooling me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be schooled with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back, and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you the dicks of those responsible. Hey, I already know that. You're not a fool, Tommy, but I warn you. Neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Sonny. Go oh, get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who does that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or mental well-being, Mr. Rosetti. You just got a touch of agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent, and you. I just want my merchandise. Uh, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances. Don't worry about it. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps you will come back. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Mr. Davis! Dora Mia, 
Could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary relations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes, you try living with her. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Schrapp with rising silicone star, Candy Sachs. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I brought down on him. And then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> that is good. Well, now I'm looking at some prime. And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Did I tell you, still you know how they play ping pong? Exactly. Let me tell you. It does not involve a bad <laughs> Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right hand gift, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo intellectual film director Steve Whoa, Scott. Who's a patient with the new foreign beaters when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off? I know, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel! Your party's a devil are a triumph! <laughs> I can only apologize. Well, then I got me go. How do we find you? <laughs> Our business is very tried. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies. I mean, who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's move. Let's get out of here. Actually, take me to the pole position. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos. Come back here, Baba! You hit me! See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will. You got a death wish or something? Why? Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it! Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. Take it easy now. Don't make me get my feet. That thing is so small. I'm late. Get it moving. Where'd you pop up from? I've been looking for a bird like you for ages, mate. You know why I am? Looking for some mate. English guy. Kent Paul. Kent Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. You know what I mean? I'll treat you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. You're lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Kent Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Get another drink, bruv. Everybody's a comedian. Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Drugs, mate. It's a mugs game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, well, what I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who deals that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, that's right, go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut?
Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Want some more? Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. Well, no need to go all long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This town, you gotta pack some heat. Local gun shops, a couple of blocks away. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching this. for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. Hold that piece of shit! You're the way, idiota! Ah! Oh, oh, for God's sake, it's you! Oh, jeez! I'm gonna need new pants! Hey, those psychos from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon! Now where is the goddamn money?! Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor. Oh, oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now look, it's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out! I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that! The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life?
dumb Florida moron. Ay, ¿qué carajo fue eso? It wasn't me. Esto está horrible. ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? Uh. Ah. I can get down. I don't like hitting uh. girlies. I know you. I may have to hurt you. This is happening! Giorgio sends his regards. Remember, guilty is a dirty word. <laughs> this is the genius, my little one. Hey, Tali, it's Sunny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. Well, you ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, tell me, what are you doing? I'm looking for the money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style, because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy, please. Do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What can I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks.
Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin' paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Is this me? Nice ass, baby. This is your final warning. Go away. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You got no chance. This is amateur time. Hey, I don't think this guy. Come on, daddy needs to sing this one. Hey, carry it over here. Damn, these clubs keep getting worse. Now, if the sun wasn't melting this is my amateur balls, time. we could start playing. This is what I call the hot bird swing. How much money do I pay?
is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him! To that psycho! Head. This car is extremely valuable, idiot. Sport.
Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? What the f-
What was that? Damn, I gotta lay off the pills. I'm seeing shit. Cross kill the Maoists.
Mr. Versetti! Colonel! Thank you for coming. Please sit. I'm lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose style of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For this kindness, I'll reward you. And then. We will find your money together. It will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. Call me vacuum cleaner. You're gonna get it in the face. I'm gonna shut that me. big mouth of yours. I study my yeah. own thing now. He's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball. Move. Move. Away from me, you I cheap bastard. I heard Shit. for you. One, two. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. I've wasted my life and my look. Stand still and I'll make it quick. The answer is no. no. Comprende. I pay you double, Tommy. Double. But you're squealing. No one cares, Pat, so. I miss the flight to Narita! Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, huh? Got the snout. Oh, no, no, no thanks. Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue with my inquiries, but in the meantime, I have a funny little deal to close. A favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me.
The rain, she is très wet this time of the year. What? Ah, comment? Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh, d'accord. Freeze imperialist American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over, you American idiot. They followed you here. Shoot them, police! You have to do better, Mr. Snell. Thomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go.
You must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. He'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Es que no me lo creo. Every time with you, man. Oye, chico, eso no pude ser. I say no to that, man. I'm next in line, man. I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? Damn, you stepped on my shine. Yo, get out my set, son. Your head off. Uh, who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me. Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for up. Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. No one does this to me. No one. 
You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later, we will kill him. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. You have a grime? Oh! You better not find it. Slow, Granddad. You better keep on running, asshole. What kind of incompetent fool are you? Fool! 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 Tommy! What, Ricardo? These idiots, they're always trying to screw you. That's the problem with this business. What do you think you're doing? These pricks have failed me miserably. Soon any mom and pop will think they could sell Gallo in Vice City. What next, huh? The stinking mafia? That gang place is a fortress at ground level. So Quentin here, Quentin, Quentin! He'll fly you over the area. Eradicate them! What do you think you're doing? What are you doing here? Hey, I've been asking around. It's obvious that Diaz jumped the deal and iced my brother. And he'll kill you too. I can take Diaz. No, listen to me. I'll handle Diaz. He's beginning to trust me. One thing puzzling me. What's with Quentin? I don't know. I always kind of liked it. Quentin Van. Vance? You didn't hate Lance Vance? Hey, I got enough of that at school. Lance Vance, poor bastard. Where the hell are we headed anyway? 
Prawn Island! You ever fire one of those from a whirly? No, I'll get a bit of practice on the way, though.
Not so pleased with yourselves now, huh? <laughs> Whoa, watch where you're waving that thing. No more pigeon shit on my car, eh, Tommy? Guess not. <laughs> you're damn right. Now listen, you know who owns the fastest boat on the East Coast? Not offhand, no. Me! And I want it to stay that way. Every smuggler from here to Caracas has one dream. A faster boat. Rumor has it the boatyard had just completed such a vessel for some Costa Rican dickhead. And Tommy, I want that boat. Ah, I thought I got you! Where'd you come from? I think your pigeons are back. Tommy, it's me, Colonel Cortez. Look, senor, I believe you are a man who can get things done. So please help me. You can find me at the boat, huh? Eject! Plastic crap! You doing this to me? Who do you think you are, you piece of plastic shit? Oh! Bro, oh. oh, you! It is my favorite Alburo movie, it's die! 
What else can I do? It's probably not plugged in. What? Damn. No matter. I can buy a hundred more. Now, Tommy. Each month, a freelancer sails into Vice City and moors his yacht. He sells his cargo to the first boat. I want you to take the speedboat and beat all the other shitheads to it. Then you bring the cargo here. Okay? Let me guess. Before I could use a guardian angel, I'm just saying you need to let me in there, my man. Now you can feed me all this lonely tough guy crap, but I know one day I'm gonna save your ass, and you probably gonna wanna kiss me. Wacko. <laughs> We got some competition! So Tommy, we know it was Diaz busted our deal. So why in the hell are we running errands for him? The more we learn now, the less we have to learn when we take this town over. I like your style, man. Real friends. It's time for the land fan stand! Watch yourself! They're coming from all over! Got it! Head for the as fast as you can! Eat it! Eat it! Sleep with the fish! Mr. Lance Vance Dance. Hey, man, you want some trouble? I'm so freaking lost, it's not even funny. So, Tommy, it's Lance. Yeah? Oh, nice to hear from you, Lance. Come on, man. Be cool. Be cool. I'm in the middle of something. What do you want? Nothing. Just to say, you know, look, Tommy, we can do this thing. You and me, no problem. You know what I mean? We're going to have to do it, because otherwise we're going to be dead, Lance. We're in too far now. But thanks for the call. Speak to you later.
Tommy, this is Donald Love. Donald, this is Tommy Vercetti, the latest gunslinger to come to these parts. Help. Now, Donald, you just shut up and listen, and you might learn something. Now, nothing brings down real estate prices quicker than a good old-fashioned gang war. Except maybe a disaster, like a biblical plague or something, but that may be going too far in this case. You getting this down, you four-eyed prick? Now, recently a Haitian gang lord died. Apparently the Cubans did it. Nobody's certain, but let's make them certain. You disguise yourself as a Cuban hombre and head on down and crash that funeral. Mix it up, and then hightail it. You getting this down, Donald? Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? And then we'll just sit back and watch the prices tumble. This ain't Leo. Hey, if Leo knows you got his phone, he's gonna kill you. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. Did you ever think of that, prick? You kill Leo? You must have big hornets. Wanna work for me? Cut by my father's cafe in Leo Havana. And we'll talk mano y mano. Yes, was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me, and once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Ben? Convoy! Halt! Civilian! Move away from the tank! 
Get that civilian vehicle out of Don't our way! Sir, Milk China, it's Paul. I might have a little result for you, but I need to speak to you in person. I'm enjoying a little R&R &R at the Club Malibu. I reckon you're going to owe me a favour or two after this, sunshine. I'll see you later. Uncool, dude. 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 You know that wanker Diaz, the Bugelmeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is, you may try to jump. You didn't jump high enough, if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah! ah. Oh, hey, all right, In plain mates. English. Keep your party on. You caught him across town at the junkyard. <laughs> Bloody hell, you nutter! Goes my careful planning blown to shit. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. He killed my brother. What do you expect me to do? Mow his lawns? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out. You okay to use a gun? Sure. I guess. 
Nice to see you too. Let's get out of here. Patched up and meet me on the bridge to Star Island, okay? Okay, I got you. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez. Look, the French are giving me all kinds of trouble, amigo. Them hypocrites. They spend a hundred years stealing from poor countries, and they call me a thief, huh? <laughs> I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. So please hurry, huh? Tell me I need you, all right? I hate the damn French. Got us some cannons in the trunk. Holy shit, where'd you get all this stuff? Been saving for a rainy day. <laughs> you like? Yeah, I like. This place is going to be crawling with assholes. Be careful. Don't worry, Tommy. I'll cover you.
Beautiful high ceilings in here. So, we're out, okay. And then you Come on, there's nobody screwed. Come on. Come on the okay. For you, one, two. Who you talking to? I made muscles. Nobody screws with me. Mister, slit your throat. Bring hey, come on, out. then, tough guy. To slit your throat. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Tommy! You betrayed me, you idiot! I'm gonna kill you real soon! Eat this! You murdering bastards! Your arms and legs. Yeah, the one, two! You stupid pricks! My beautiful house! Look what you done to it! This is for my brother! Oh, I trusted you, Tommy! <coughs> I would have had you made! Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz! I got those clothes you wanted. You know what's going on? Forget about it. I will be everywhere we got. I got those clothes. Call me, son. Have I got a surprise for you? I'm down at recording studios with some major artists. Why don't you pass a visit? You know it makes sense, don't ya? See you later. You did what? I told him. Tommy, remember me? Hello, Sonny. That's right, Sonny. We're all friends. You never write me, you never call. Don't you want to be friends no more? I've been busy trying to sort things out. You didn't give me a lot of support down here, Sonny. Oh, my fault, is it? Well, I've heard you've been busy, all right. Busy killing drug barons. Busy taking over. Don't forget about us, Tommy, because I can assure you, I ain't forgotten about you. Oh, we gotta redecorate this place. We gotta make it look older. I can't stand this look. Tommy, what do you say? What do you say we put a bar in the... You're my lawyer, Rosenberg, not my interior decorator. Got it? Listen to me. The time to take over this town is now. It's all out there waiting for us. We need to start seizing territory. And let Vice City know we're the new players in town. You know what I'm saying? What you need is a legitimate front, Tommy. Real estate. It's never done me no harm. We need to start using some muscle. Or we can kiss all that hard work goodbye. Local business know Diaz is dead, and they're refusing to pay protection. Oh, we could try bribery. Bribery? Screw bribery. I'll show you how to make them scared. I'll be back here in five minutes. Hey, Mario, give me a hard time. I got those clothes. What are you doing? What's going on? I hate you. Forget about it, Mario. Street kids. You did.
Remember the name. Are you clean shot? Go play with the traffic. He's going down right now. I just are like total. Oh my wow. god, no, you Kill. didn't. God, everyone's a moron. Don't let Jimmy touch your hair. He's a freaking nightmare. I'm just going down. Pleather is totally. <laughs> What's your wife doing? Go play with the traffic. He's out of control. I run this town now. Me. Ain't a cop. You're a robot. I see him. You can't run, officer. You speak Spanish? You swear I want to hear you say no. You can crash in my pants. No wonder you ended up being a cop. I got it. These shoes are like cheap and he's you know, like, you know, God, I'm you want me big time? So I tell him, I don't, don't have any money. money. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. God. No, you he didn't. Always These shoes are like total. I know how to you use a Get cheap, me some food, man. I need it. 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 Feather is totally the new leather. You have any like total. I'm murder. going to that. Malibu yeah. 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 So many of you guys go. Howdy, sir. Just thought I'd bring you up and give you some advice. Hey, Avery, what's eating you? There's a lot of opportunity in this town if you own the right real estate. Just about driven. I reckon so. All I'm saying is keep your eyes open and you might find the perfect business opportunity. I'll catch you later. Later, Avery. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Forget about Mario. Mario. Hey, Mario. I got those Get in the car, useless. We got Oh, my God. 
Protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. Oh, I don't need this yeah. crap. These idiots operate out of DBP security around the block. I you guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hello, whatever. Way, come binga. This is the wrong time, man. Heavy on the culos, you know what I mean, man? Joseph and Mary. Oh, my Lord and Savior. get in my face again. Tommy, we gotta talk about stuff. What's the problem, Lance? It's you, my friend. I feel you're not giving me a fair slice. And more than that, you've been embarrassing me in front of the boys. I can't have that. Lance, it ain't like that. You've been making mistakes. Tommy, I'm not your message boy. I'm not your running boy. Lance, don't screw up and we won't have any problems. I screw up, you can lay into me any time. Tommy, I've done everything for you. You treat me like a fool. Don't do that. Lance, I won't rip you off or stab you in the back, okay? Just take it easy. This is tough enough without you getting all emotional on me. Trust me. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I hear you, Tommy. But I can't take this much more. Lance, don't be like this. Now I'm warning you. Do you hear me? Just relax. Take a few days off, okay? I'll talk to you. You moron! What were you thinking? Do you realize what this means? We could all be so- I don't know, the timer must have got screwed. That place was wired to go up like a firework factory. And somebody tipped off the cops, but everything What's the problem, apart. fellas? Mike was supposed to torch some place in the mall, but he screwed the fuses, and now uh, the cops are crawling all over it. We gotta get our stuff and get out of here. Relax, both of you. Let me think for a second. Tommy Versetti just doesn't cut and run. The cops are gonna be going over that building with a fine-tooth comb, right? But that takes time. We gotta go in and torch that place ourselves. Yeah, but... No one but a cop could get within a mile of that place. So we go as cops. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. All thanks to you, Mike. I'm sorry. I got it. All we gotta do is lure the cops in with the finger, put them in a lockup, and jump them. Good plan. Let's go. All right. Okay, Lance, let's get the cops' attention. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I would go to 
them really irritate. the crotch though. Oh yeah, yeah, mine too, mine too. Brother, no cop drives this bad. Remember, smile at the other cops. Hey there, officer. Nice badge, nice badge. Real smooth, Lance. Okay, timers are set. Five seconds and ticking.
Tommy, it's me, Lance. Keep your mouth shut there, Tommy, because I ain't got no time to talk. I ain't interested in what you got to say. Why should I be? You don't care about me, do you? You got to look after me a bit better. Give me a spare slice, you know? Hey, Tommy, man, look, hey, I'm sorry. It's just that people patronize me all my life, treat me like a little kid. My brother would do that. Please, man, don't do that. I got to go.